Los Cabos Drumstick presents Quarter Notes. I I played I played big beats. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot all about that button. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we could have done the that's... whole thing. I know. <laughs> we like, oh shit. <laughs> no, then good. I we... just made a post of like we recorded a season finale. You should have been there. It was great. Yeah, it was very exclusive. <laughs> or subscribe to our OnlyFans and you can watch it. Yeah, there we go. Make some money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm thinking about, um, well, for the dad bod thing, because I'm doing two 20-inch crashes, I'm thinking about getting an 18 for my left and keeping yeah. a 20 on my right. But for six gun, I'm thinking of keeping the twenty on my left and getting like a twenty one, mm. like like a, like a light ride instead of a crash. Yeah, because then my yeah. twenty two inch ride that I have now, it it can be really pingy when I want it to be. It crashes mm. great, but I think a twenty one light ride would crash better, and then I would just yeah. have two rides. Cool. That's kind of That's the, cool. It's a cool idea. The idea. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Cool, cool, right cool, on. Cool. Right on, bud. What's your hat say? Turbo? Turbo. Yeah. Band from Halifax. Met them on the at the Punk Fest. Nice. They should have the changed. Oh. Punk Fest was great. They should have changed it to Turbo Fest. Because <laughs> they played every fucking day. <laughs> nice. They they had a they did a matinee. They did like an afternoon all ages kind of a show on the Thursday. Or no, Thursday they they did the after party after the Teenage Bottle Rocket show. So that was like at 1 or 2 a.m. And then the next day on the Friday, they were on with us. But they also played a matinee. So they did a twofer on that day. And then Saturday they were playing another. Like it, they just played every day. Jeez. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were, we, um, <laughs> when we went to the coffee mill on Saturday morning, we were just finishing up and they, they kind of they were playing at the coffee mill. <laughs> totally played the coffee mill. <laughs> they showed up and they were just man. They were showing. They were like, yeah, we got this show in the afternoon, and then we're hitting the road. They were only gonna because from Fredericton to Halifax, it's closer to six hours. Hmm. So they were like, yeah, we're gonna only get to get home at like ten o'clock, and then just fucking crash. But they're a really good band. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you should check those guys out. Uh, yeah, the Queens were great. Yeah, um, yeah, they're quick. They're was, Val and Emily were there, and then uh, Mike was filling in on bass, and then uh, yeah. Sarah was filling in on drums. Right on. Because uh, their new current drummer, um, Zoe, I think her name is, right? Mm -hmm. um, she's on tour with another artist that she's kind of contractually obligated to be with. So she gotcha. couldn't make it for the Queen shows, but yeah, yeah. So, anyway, no, gotcha. Were, for a fill-in drummer, man, holy crap, she was awesome. Nice. <laughs> it was like her nice. third show with the band. Never would have known. That's great. Oh, That's yeah. what you want. And she was, uh, had I not been like watching her, like, because I I do that all the time. You probably do it too. Like you go and you watch a band and you're just watching the drummer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she oh, had yeah. her ears in and she was playing, she was playing to a click. Like she kept switching over to click for each song. And had I not been watching her and talked to her afterwards, you would have never known because she was just real fluid with it. No, oh, nice. Yeah. So, and she was always keeping the, the left foot going. So whenever like the music would stop and they would come back in, they had her, her tempo yeah. already there. So, oh yeah, she's a total pro. Nice. And she was using Los Cabos drumsticks. No way. Just I just went over like when I was helping her tear down, I looked over in her stick bag and it was full of Los Cabos drumsticks. Nice. So I gave her a pair of mine. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what model? Uh, what model was was she playing? Uh she was doing uh five A white hickory with the nylon tips. Hmm. Right on. Just happened to be what she had in her bag. But yeah, because okay. she I think she's gonna switch over to the to what I had, fifty five A B's. Because she was using the five Bs, they were too much, and she likes the five As. But so I think that middle ground is going to be. But I mean, whatever. As long as she's got the right name on the stick, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. 
Nice. <laughs> so it's a good time, eh? Punk fat uh punk fest was good times. Yeah, it, nobody could say the name of it. Punk Gocalypse. Try oh. saying that. <laughs> pu- pu- <laughs> punk Apocalypse. Punk Apocalypse. All right. <laughs> Still can't do it. I'm saying it right, but it's I've I've had to like sit in the mirror and really watch myself say it. And like, yeah. you know, practice. Punk goth lips is what I hear. It's punk goth. <laughs> punk goth lips. Punk goth lips. Yeah. No, the 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 Friday night we played was good, and then we did the skate park um, kind of punk rock barbecue fundraiser thing. That was fun too. Yeah, lots of nice. kids skateboarding. It was hot. Sweet. I'm I'm sunburnt from it all. So yeah, Here whatever. You. So here yeah. So how was uh, the tour the show so we played with um volbeat yeah, again great. your buddy yes we did that was awesome um yeah we played with volbeat um yeah it it was like uh now that i look back on it like we also did uh grass pop in this this run mm-hmm. uh that was at the beginning so it felt like by the end like i kind of forgot what we'd done at the beginning but that was mm-hmm. incredible um yeah, uh, saw the ghost inside. Well, I didn't see the ghost inside, but I saw them walking around because uh, we played at the exact same time. Oh no! Um, yeah, no, there was some pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome bands. It was it was just a great day. Um, then we yeah we played in uh, in Hungary, we played in Austria. Uh, that was the uh, Volbeat thing, and there was some time to like kick around. So we like hung like a bunch of days in Budapest and a bunch of days in Graz, uh, Austria as well. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty sweet. And then uh, then the last show we played, uh, Bullet For My Valentine was the other band on the on the bill. And nice. uh, I don't know their drummer, but he was sick. It's pretty it was good, like, eh? Really, really good. It was like, yeah. wow. So uh, yeah, man, it was uh, it was an awesome time. What can I say? Awesome tour. Cool. Good to be back home, though. Yeah, just for a short yeah. little break, eh? Yeah, just uh, another week or so, a little over a week. And then back at her. Back at her. Yeah. By the way, folks, this hey. is uh quarter notes podcast presented by I can't even say it right. You kinda you kinda got it. Las Cabos presents <laughs> Las Cabos drumsticks presents there we go. quarter notes the podcast. <laughs> and this is a very special episode because speaking of all this, we're having a chat. We're chatting here, uh mm-hmm. been chatting about all the, the shows we're playing and how busy we are and as a result, we've uh, we decided that we are going to sign off for season one. Just, after, just for after, a bit. After today. Just for a little bit. Just for a bit. Yeah. We have lots more guests planned, and we've been talking to people that, that want to come on. So we can't not come back. So we're we're, you know, we're locked in. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. 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 But uh, we're just taking a little uh, little break. And uh, so this is a bit of a finale, a bit of a season one. season one finale. Yeah. So get your get your chips out and your bar and your your popcorn and your pop. <laughs> your pop chips and a pop. Yeah, <laughs> chips pop and bar, Dad. <laughs> That's a callback to episode one. Yeah. <laughs> pop chips and bar, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Callbacks. I mean. We've, this is the 13th episode, so we've only done 12 other ones, but it seems like we've been doing it for a while, and there's so much that's happened in the previous episodes, and the, the guests that we've had um mm-hmm. been pretty stellar. Um, you know, we can kind of talk about some, some highlights or some things that, you know, jog our memory from, from the previous episodes. I know our first guest was Randy Ross from Sabian Symbols, that's and... It. Did you see they just brought back? I, I've laughed because it's funny, but it, it's a great symbol. Um, is the Roctagon. <laughs> like, do you think a, it had anything to do with our interview? I don't know. I mean, it wasn't a thing before. <laughs> and well, I mean, it was a thing way back when, but yeah. it's it's a thing again. <laughs> yeah. I think uh I think people at the in the in the biz might be paying attention to this little maybe, our maybe. little podcast <laughs> we're taste makers <laughs> taste so you're yeah, welcome we're, we're influencers i think yeah is so thing. you're is welcome that still a thing? oh I, 
I hope so. <laughs> For our sakes. <laughs> I think yeah. I think now you need an OnlyFans account to be an influencer or something. Yeah, you're yeah. like you're, you're probably I'm, right. I'm not doing that. Me neither. But that's great news about the Roctagon. I wonder is the Clocktagon still happening? I'm I sure need, you can find I one. I need a I need a clock to gun. Yeah, I'm sure you can find one. They're all over the shop down there yeah. in Meductic, New Brunswick. Yeah. Yeah. Once <clears> again, <throat> I mean, I'll just take this opportunity to say I gotta I gotta get over to New Brunswick. What you am do. I waiting for? You gotta we will come up in the fall. Okay, we'll do that. We should do that. Let's not we're not gonna like commit. Commit. <laughs> no, we're gonna commit right now. Right now. On the air. Set the date. <laughs> Guys, we're having a party. Everyone's listening. It's going to be at the Lost Cabos party. Drumsticks Factory. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Lost Cabos Fest, LCD Fest. It's now, not a bad idea. You, yeah, uh, Warren, the guy that introduced me to the sticks, he and I were talking way back when that we should totally do a Lost Cabos Drumsticks Fest and just book all bands with LCD artists yeah. because it's a whole wide range of genres. Have just a barbecue. Have a whole, yeah, well, barbecue. Yeah. You a hot dog or a hamburger guy in the barbecue? Oh, come on, man. I'm, I'm a hamburger guy. Yeah. Double it up. Yeah, I, I actually, I did that the other day. I doubled yeah. it. Nice. Twice the burg for half the bread. And uh, I like a sausage, though. Yeah. Like, I was so... going to say, if, if I have the choice, the sausage, if, you know, yes. especially if it's like one of those smokies, like, yeah. Oh, there's this great local spot here in, in PEI. Uh, Glen Lake Farms, I think is the name of it. Best sausages that I've ever had. And and so that would be my number one on the barbecue. It okay. would be a sausage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're big we're big on, on barbecued sausages. Nice. Or steak. I mean oh come on. I mean come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's gonna blow the budget on steak though. Yeah. That's... <laughs> so that's why you do the burgers and the sauce. For real. Yeah. 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 But yeah, definitely like a Los Cabos drumstick fest would be pretty amazing. Um, it would be so. I mean, we made the Roctagon happen. We could make. Let's this just happen. see. We're gonna see if we actually if we actually have any influence here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, like the the guests that we had, like there was a few that I knew that I had conversations with on my my other podcast. Mm -hmm. um, that happened to be conundrum. Yeah, which is gonna come back. I've got a, I got a guest coming up. Kind of excited. Um, nice and. Uh, Oh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one, um, and not to spoil anything, but um, that guest will likely be on this podcast as well. Yeah, so. I think I know. I know. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I think you do. Um, so, but yeah, like there's people that I knew before, and then clearly there's people that 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 you brought in that I hadn't met that that you mm -hmm. knew. So, um, which was awesome because so far everybody has just been, you know, the tops, right? Yeah. Just oh, it's been great. Like Ryan over there in PEI with you, like with his studio. Um, that was a fun that was, episode. That was, a, oh, man. That's probably still... one of the most fun episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I still freaking that Nickelback drum. I mean, yeah, man. That gotta, Phil, you got to do it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yeah, I was thinking of that when we were preparing for tonight. Like, what were my favorite moments? And I think, like, getting reacquainted with that Phil. I know I'm joking, but that's like, you know, that's an example of a fill that you hear it and you're like, yep, like this, that's, that was the hook. I think that made that song a hit, as I said that day, I think, but. Uh, yeah. And there's a, a few that this is kind of an interesting topic to, to sidebar that we could, could have as a topic down the road, but to not, you know, go too deep, no, let's but go. drum intros that make the song, mm. that would be one. And then another one is um two princes spin doctors like mm. oh just I, I can't you know i saw that going around the other day uh a little like short video explaining that phil he was yeah he was explaining how like the, the bass drum patterns like the bow diddly right and then yeah it's fucking cool nice yeah. yeah that's a good that's a that's a really good idea for a for a sode episode yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it should be so. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, what other what other highlights did you have? I would like that Randy episode. Uh, that Randy sode was uh, 
one of my highlights learning how to how he prolongs the life of his sticks like before he uses them um yeah. that was uh if you want to know how go back and listen yeah uh that was pretty cool and uh i mean yeah just everything about it was like so informative yeah um, like just the how the the, the different like the, how the red hickory affects because of the density of the wood and the and the shape of the tip with the the contact on the symbol and just total nerd episode um but yeah. well worth well yeah. worth going back and revisiting i'll i'll probably listen back to all the episodes before we come back just to kind of see what you know what's working what's not like what where we can improve cuz you know we want to make this as good as we can obviously um yeah which is why we've come to the decision to kind of take a step back because we don't want the podcast to just be kind of a squeeze it in, rush it, you know, just put out content. Like we want to actually make shit that, you know, resonates and, and is meaningful yeah. and, yeah. you know, so, but yeah, that Randy episode was, it was a great way to start. And he was the first Los Cabos artist. Right. So it was kind of just, I don't know what the word is, but you know, uh, serendip is it serendipity no mm, serendipitous <laughs> serendipitous uh serendipitous well could be ser is that i guess so i just see john cusack that's <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, that, uh, i'm getting the word wrong i'm sure <clears throat> high fidelity uh was a good movie mm. john cusack. speaking of john cusack speaking of, and jack black and Jack uh, Black. That, it was uh, first time I'd oh. seen Jack Black. <clears throat> Speaking of Jack Black, did you hear their cover of Wicked Game? Tenacious D? Uh, no, I think I saw that they were doing it and, and scrolled by. I didn't, oh. I didn't, it was good. It's like a minute and 15 seconds. Like it's, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's, it's the best minute and 15 seconds you'll, you'll, you'll spend. Well, I'll tell you, that is my go to at karaoke is uh wicked game that's what i if if i have really? to go sing karaoke i'm going to pull up wicked game you've got some pipes then because that's not a i mean that's got i can some just range. i can just i can just do the flip the flip the voice flip and that's really all you got to do is is do the voice flip go from the this, down here all the way to the up up there yeah yeah because you yeah. just go you just do the flip and then uh the rest is kind of low so it's actually not too hard you you're know? just mumbling so, <laughs> yeah kind of that kind of thing <laughs> Yeah. One of the greatest songs ever written. Easily. It's pretty uh it's pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a one of the greatest songs uh, like I don't know, are there any other songs with a flip like that? Mm. I can't think of any. Yeah. I don't know if any like I'm sure there are, but you've got to be, but like Yeah. I guess is that is that what yodeling is? kind of i'm sure there's know. definitely technique in that same similar techniques you know but i guess that's like you know talking the difference between french grip and german grip like mm. you know yeah which is another episode we could do again yeah think, no kidding yeah anyway yeah yeah mm -hmm. this is be our ref our own personal <laughs> reference for yeah, yeah. ideas this is we're just making notes yeah <laughs> in real time it's a, it's a production meeting it's a production meeting you're all inv invited um yeah and then anytime like i guess if we just go in the order of, of the episodes like i guess we jump back one to uh adam the archive which the i think is where the up. yeah we we got <laughs> did he notice that that you had his i don't uh, know his name changed on the website i don't know i <laughs> guess we, you know the, the yeah i guess the the cat's out of the bag I did make a personal request to get Adam's name changed to Adam the Archive Hindle on the website. I don't know if he's been to the website. Uh, and I frankly don't know that he's going to be listening to this podcast. So it, it, I feel pretty free just saying this right now. But at, well, I can't wait till the day that he goes and somehow discovers. I hope he doesn't hear hear about it. I hope he just goes on his own. Because, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know that he'll know that who did it. But uh, anyway, he deserves, <laughs> I think, you know. I feel like Adam Adam could be end up like uh, Alan Cross one day, like you know, kind of have those like uh, informative musical music history moments. Mm -hmm. Adam could be that guy for sure. 
yeah his his hamburgers his knowledge of him like that whole first part of that episode where i talk about hamburgers was yeah. just it was crazy. was that that was around the time that the uh what was it the chicken big mac was the chicken out? big mac had come out yeah i still haven't i still haven't gone got have you had Same. one <laughs> no. i wonder if they even still serve them i don't know um we need like a, a we need like a an assistant on this that we when we don't know something we're just like look it up <laughs> <laughs> like joe rogan like joe rogan's guy <laughs> like yeah jamie or whatever his name is yeah yeah well that would that would require us having a producer kind of and a, and with a budget. Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah for one we'd need a budget and and then having a producer would uh keep us a little bit more on track which i think would just derail the whole vibe of the sodes <laughs> yeah man <laughs> no bro it's here for a limited time. Okay. So it's probably, I don't know if it's even still there. I have I have the app because I order coffee, but I'm not going to check. Anyway, their coffee's great. McDonald's, coffee. Yeah. I, mean, I was, yeah. no, I wasn't making fun of their coffee. I was making fun of, I don't believe you that you just order coffee. <laughs> I got the, I got the app, but I just get waters. <laughs> <laughs> the odd club sewed. <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why the camera stops right here. Yeah. <laughs> I just get like bananas and stuff. Yeah. From them. I just get the apple slices. Yeah. They're full of preservatives. Um, yeah. I can't tell. I can't tell. I'm trying to look it up. I don't want to derail us, but uh, I can't tell. It's set a limited time. I don't know how long, how limited it, a limited time is. We won't well, know. I mean, I've been to McDonald's since and I don't recall. I don't recall seeing it. But I'm not looking for it because I True. usually I, I know what I'm getting. You know, large black coffee <laughs> and a you... bottle of water. A bottle of water, please. <laughs> no, I will just uh, I will say like a uh, road road tip. Um, I mean, this is like it doesn't have to be a road tip. It could be a, a home tip. But out of like the fast food coffees, I got to give it to McDonald's. I mm -hmm. think uh, they might have the best of the worst coffees yeah. in a sea of crap you rise to the top i did think they're they're uh get a kick out of like the uh the ads that they were doing when they were running their coffees though because it just lo looks like they just looked up words like the advertiser looked up words that like describe coffee and then had people say that like it's so aromatic no <laughs> one says no one says oh, it's so aromatic what do you look who, for in a coffee who, yeah. yeah who says that no one like no one says it's aromatic that's not yeah. a word in the vernacular common vernacular yeah i like a, a, a rich bold dark roast flavor <laughs> that's that's cool i, I just don't I'm want a, it to i'm a kind of an aromatic guy myself i like it smooth and it's got like a little like the the <laughs> the, on the on the back end like mm. after you've had it in your mouth and you, once you swallow and how the flavor kind of comes back maybe yeah. that's acid reflux i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> just imagine yeah. the guy like it's so automatic yeah. aromatic <laughs> we'll edit anyway, that sorry post. Yeah, yeah yeah we'll edit that post anyway sorry i just yeah anyway um yeah there's some other good episodes uh our recent episode with uh sam landa mm -hmm. it's killer very insightful yeah and and aromatic it was an aromatic <laughs> that's what it's i look aromatic. for in my, po my podcast sodes is uh, my sodes it's an yeah. aromatic sode yeah no her her talk about just um you know like the balance between you know work and being on the road at the same time it's very insightful um yeah, yeah, it's not easy to do a lot of a lot of work when you're touring. I can attest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've been double. You've been doing that while you've doubling been doubling down. Too. But it's yeah. yeah, but you know, with varying degrees of uh, success. That's why I say, like I, I think it's it is tough. You really gotta. The road has its own speed, and it's you know it's tough to. Sometimes it's you got to feel like you just got to ease into whatever the the flow is, mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, you know, anyway, that's how I find it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And with what, with what you're doing, where you actually, you have clients that you have to like schedule meetings and stuff with, like just 
you know, by the very nature of you being over in Europe and the time zone differences. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. And then squeezing that, a, squeezing a consult in just before you hit the stage, probably not a great idea. Yeah. And some of them have to like, it's, it's staying up late actually was, was yeah. a lot of them like, uh, you know, which, which is a bummer if you got to get up really early for a lobby call. Mm-hmm. Cause the, yeah, the time change is five or six hours ahead. Yeah. So anyway, well, depending on what province. Yeah. Depending on what know, province that yeah. you're, you're dealing with. <gasps> uh, yep. Yep. Uh, speaking of yep, I've been watching a lot of uh, storage wars for some reason. Really? Yeah. The wife has it online on the, I think it's on Disney plus or something. So I've just been listening here and that guy. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I haven't. So is this like they go, they get to look at, uh, storage units and and bid on bid on opening it and they get to yeah like they open inside. it they can look in but they can't go in and uh-huh. they, so they just kind of get a surface view and they try to outbid each other it's it's i mean it's slightly staged i would say yeah for sure but Dan- play it. yeah danko's anyway. been watching the show um i think it's don't quote me on it but i think it's korean mm-hmm. and it's uh and like in Koreans, like from Korea, and uh, it's like they put all these like it's like some kind of fitness show, but they'll like have all these challenges, but they'll have like uh, like bodybuilders, but like then like like Iron Ironman athletes and like MMA fighters and like gymnasts and like uh, fitness models and like swimmers and like all these different yeah yeah. And then they give them these these challenges, and I think they have to team up. Like I haven't actually seen an app, I haven't seen a sode, but I think they have to. <laughs> you know, sometimes it pays to be like a, a strong man. You know, yes. like uh, and then for but for other events, you actually want like uh, a runner or a but yeah. you know someone something like more cardio cyclist or something. Yeah. yeah. That's anyway, cool. He's loving it. It's like the MMA of uh, Ironman competitions. Yeah, it's it's kind of well. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, American Gladiators meets uh, what is it called? Canada's biggest race or uh, oh yeah, yeah, the Amazing Race. The Amazing Race uh, yeah. meets uh, Survivor. Cool. Yeah, Survivor. <laughs> Survivor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have been know. voted off the island. Yeah, yeah, or the weakest link. Goodbye. It's it kind of like the weakest link. Yeah, <laughs> I miss that show. She was fun. I think we're due for another like jerk host, you know, like we had, she was, she was good. Simon, uh, cow of course. Yeah. Um, Regis Philbin, rest his soul on the millionaire. But it was, he, he was, he was a little original. He, he was, was a little original. snarky, but not, yeah, yeah. not to, uh, not he was kind of way. funny though. Yeah. He yeah. was always kind of funny about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good old Regis. Well, um so yeah this um <clears throat> we're totally as per normal sidetracking like crazy um <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> <clears throat> um yeah <laughs> so um yeah other other guests we had um it's always great catching up with with my uh one of my good friends Nadine um yes. and her her juggling and and being able to come into drumming later in her career or in her working career as a mom and managing a, you know, a household and kids and, and a band that's, you know, winning awards and, you know, kicking a lot of ass when they play on stage. Um, you know, it, it's, we all have, I think that episode kind of reminded me that we, we all have stuff going on outside of the band. Right. Yeah. You know, everybody, not, not just me, not just you, literally everybody that's out there that's playing you know they have a home to manage when they go on tour they have you know bills to pay they've got a you know mortgages and car payments and health benefit you know because as musicians i mean i'm in a good position because i have a a day job with with decent health benefits but unless you're you know under some kind of contract that has health benefits included which i don't know if there's many that do but you've got to take care of all that on your own so just you know, it reminds me that, you know, we're all unique and individual, but all have similar 
things in the background, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're all living, we're all living life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is true. That's a good point about like, you know, like influencer culture and uh, the internet culture is, is really mm -hmm. easy to forget that uh, every, you know, just take drummers for particular because That's why true, not? Because yeah. <laughs> why not? Um, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, you know, it's really easy to just get caught up in the flashy flash and uh, of what, you know, and the, the bright lights of drumming and whatever and, and forget that. Yeah. There's, that's, they're all real people. I mean, I guess that's a, <clears throat> a symptom of social media in general, but uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Cause you see uh, somebody posting that they're playing in front of like, you know, tens of thousands of people. Um, but then the flip side of that is after you're done and you're off the stage, well, generally back you go back, to you go back, life, <laughs> right? you go back to your reality. <laughs> fresh Prince of Bel Air. What's up? Yeah. Um, but usually you, you leave that stage and then you go back to your hotel and generally you're by yourself or you're, you know, calling home or, you know, it can be, it can be very kind of, a, I guess we can swear on the podcast. Like it can be kind of a mind fuck for people. Mm. You, know? you know what I have? Uh, oh, it's, it's holding up my computer. <laughs> I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug a book here. Uh, Cause why, why not do, I think it's a good thing. I just, I just was, became aware of this. Someone sent me this the other day and mm. it's called touring and mental health, the wow. music industry manual edited by Tamsin Embleton. And, uh, she founded a group called the music industry therapist collective, but the book's, uh, it's got a bit of everything. It's a bit of, uh, mental health stuff, obviously, and some physical health stuff. And so naturally I was drawn to that with my performers health stuff, but also just personally you know i'm also mm -hmm. doing that stuff so and uh, i found it quite enlightening thus far so pick it up look it up the music what was it called it was called touring and mental health look it yeah. up look it up and it's, it the, looks yeah. like a road case so that was pretty cool uh, clever very clever clever uh packaging. Yeah. um yeah yeah that's a, a mental health that's something that i do want to get into next season uh a few I don't want to say heavy topics, but I think important topics, you yeah. know, um, mental health stuff, um, just the whole, am I good enough? You know, imposter mm. syndrome, you know, oh, yeah. all that kind of stuff. I think, I think it's important to talk about those things. And I think the more people talk about it than whatever stigma that is out there, um, you know, people should realize that nobody's alone in this especially with drummers as a community that we have because i've yet to meet i mean i'm sure there's some assholes out there but i've yet to meet another drummer at a, at a gig or you know wherever and have like a you know a terrible conversation or, or something where you don't bond over something yeah you know? so just as a drumming community i think it's important to to talk about those things and you know i think we all have things we want to work on we all have things that you know we want to improve with I mean, I just got my first set of in ears. Um, you know, I'm not using them now because I didn't want to mess up the whole set setup that I have for the podcast. But, um, so just kind of, you know, we're all working on something, you know. Yeah. So, I think it's important. Yeah, dude, and we're all humans, as we were just saying before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. This you know is turning out to be a great sode, man. Dude, deep <laughs> sode. <laughs> deep. <laughs> deep sad <laughs> um but we are gonna cut this one a bit shorter than usual yes we wanted to we wanted to just kind of sign off yeah and say thank you that. to everyone yeah thanks for listening to season one and please come back for season two and uh yeah i can't we can't really tease too much can we because we don't know exactly but no. we got some guests lined up we have already. some really cool guests lined up and some more that we're going to reach out to. So yeah, a couple if, of missed connections that we'd like to connect with, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then again, it's, you know, part of the, and it, I think that's another, you know, because touring season is starting up. So there, it's going to be even harder to connect those dots. And I think if, you know, as we come back into, you know, the into the fall, winter and spring, people won't be as, as on the road and, and, you know, might be having a bit of cabin fever and want to talk more. Yeah, so, you know. Um, so hopefully we'll the this is the thirteenth, so we're ending season one and episode thirteen. So hopefully when we gear up for season two, it'll be twice as big, you know, 
have a good 24 um, episode. Well, no, it wouldn't be 24 because there's 52 weeks in a year. And mm-hmm. we do this bi-weekly. Unless we go to weekly, but eh, I probably don't. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I, I need time no. to edit the stuff. <laughs> yeah. This guy. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to to appreciate our our editor and uh, uploader and uh, <laughs> <laughs> really the driving force behind this podcast. If we're honest, uh, uh, that would well, be you. I wouldn't say that. that, wouldn't say that. Yeah. Um, but thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, but no. uh, yeah, it's not why I do it. Um, you know, it's it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy the. Com- I think as tedious as editing can be at times. Um, the flip side is to not have these episodes and not have these conversations. So the benefits of, Mm. of doing it far outweighs the, you know, the few late nights of, of editing, you know, and I'm not a master editor. I mean, anyone that's watched the show knows it's, you know, it's not rocket science what I'm doing, but you know, I try to add a little, little salt bay on there a little bit. I, I, I feel you and I appreciate the, little extra flavors there yeah it's just enough it's just enough yeah you don't want to over season it like no, a I... good steak should be good on its own without any sauce that's right yeah just the seasoning and the and the, and the grill salt. that's it well, that's it a little, yeah. maybe a little oil olive oil maybe Meat. maybe maybe <laughs> depends what you're cooking salt, on. pepper yeah depends i act like i can cook i can't cook um yeah okay. so yeah but yeah yeah, Thanks you will for... be on barbecue duty uh, at the at the uh, LCD. <laughs> I can cook a burger and a hot dog and a sausage. Okay, well maybe I, you're back I on. Can do that. Maybe, maybe you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's easier for me to eat the food that way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but sneak, uh, sneak a couple bites. And uh, just to to thank you for for even being part of this wow. podcast because I remember. Um, while I was sitting here and you were sitting there and we were having a conversation about something completely different. Um, and we just kind of, I don't know if it was an offhand comment that I made or you made, or somebody said something about, Hey, we should do a Los Cabos podcast. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. And then I was like, how about we do that together? And you were like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And then here we are. Yeah. You know, so, um, Thanks for for doing it, because oh man, I think the funniest moments from the podcast have come from from your microphone. I have to say, <laughs> <laughs> you've been the comic. I don't want to say comic relief because you you know you're not the Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> more like the Martin Short, you know? <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay, right on. Yeah. No, thanks, man. No, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to doing it again in season two and. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna just only get better. Yeah, I agree. I'm looking forward to these uh, these sods, upcoming sods, upcoming sods for for season epic two. sods. <laughs> We're switching from episodes to epic sods. Epic sods, nice. Maybe yeah. I'll maybe I'll change in season two. Epic I won't sode. call them episodes. I'll call them epic sods. Yeah, I think that's. I think we should do that. Epic yeah. sods. <laughs> episode one, <laughs> season two, episode yeah. one. So if you want to have your say on, on an epic sode, just episode. send us an email. <laughs> um, so yeah, the email is still there. Um, if anyone wants to send an email, it's lcdpodcast at gmail.com. gmail.com. I think I said it right. Um, or, you know, send us messages on, on Instagram, um, Dre underscore SGS. And that's Rich Knox drums. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rich Knox drums. So um, I think we'll, I think we'll, we'll end this. Here. Yeah, I think we've got sidetracked a few too many times um, mm. to allow more. And yeah, I we'll agree. just keep going. <laughs> no, I agree. I think uh, this be fun for us and just yeah. us. So let's sign. Yeah, let's sign off. <laughs> this is great, man. We'll see you in season two. And thanks yeah. everybody, and thanks to uh, Ryan and Phil and everyone else uh, for trusting us uh, with uh, doing this. Yeah, and uh, we uh, we promise to be back bigger and stronger. Bigger and stronger. Yeah. All right, folks. See you later. See ya.